As you can see, every time I try to launch Rocket League, I get this LS0013 error here and I figure out how to fix it. Okay, I'm gonna show you two ways of fixing this issue so you could get your game working. First thing you wanna do, the first way of fixing this issue is close your Epic Games Launcher. Make sure you close it down here from the tray as well. Just go ahead and completely close it. Open your task manager and make sure that in here you 100% close Rocket League, right? You wanna have it completely closed. You wanna end that task 100% in that task. You want to scroll down and you want to find Epic Games. And if you have it here somewhere, also end that task. If you don't have Epic Games here, well, then you're good. Okay. So once you close Epic Games and Rocket League 100%, go ahead and press the Windows key and the letter R at the same time, just like so. You'll get this run command down here, the run command, where you're going to type percentage symbol, local, app, data, and then percentage symbol. I'm going to leave this text in the first pinned comment, and I'm also going to leave it in the description of this video. Go ahead and press OK once you type that. And then once in here, once you're in this folder, you're going to have a lot of files in here. You're going to look for the Epic Games Launcher, OK? Go ahead and open this folder, head over to Save, and you're going to see the web cache or web cache. I don't know how to say that word. And now go ahead and delete this folder. Once you deleted that folder, you go back to your Epic Games Launcher. Let's go ahead and search for our Epic Game Launcher. Go ahead and launch it and as an administrator, run it as an administrator. It's going to prompt you with a little sign. Just allow it to run. Just click yes. And then you're going to be in the launcher and we're going to try to run the game again. Go ahead and click play in launch. Now, this doing this the first time got rid of the error code that I was getting, but it didn't fix my game. And, and if it hasn't fixed the game for you, I'm going to show you how to fix it real quick. As you can see, it fixed it for me and it's loading right here. That's why you can't see it's on a black screen. It's all loading. However, I'm going to show you guys how to fix it if that didn't fix it for you, okay? So keep watching. So if going through the local app data and deleting that folder didn't fix Rocket League for you, what you want to do next is open your file explorer right here, head over to your documents on the left side, on the left hand side right here. In this folder, you wanna look for a folder called My Games. Go ahead and type My Games. And in here, you're gonna have this Rocket League folder. So what you wanna do is rename this folder to Rocket League Old. And that way, whenever you launch the game from the Epic Games Launcher, is going to create a new folder for Rocket League because what is happening is that this old folder is incompatible with the new instance of the game. So that's why it's not launching or it's giving you an error code. However, if you have OneDrive enabled, you have to make sure you disenable OneDrive or unenable. I don't know what's the proper wording here. And in order to do so, you're gonna head down here and you're gonna right click this little OneDrive cloud in there and click where it says this little settings in here and click settings again. And once you're over here in the OneDrive settings, you're gonna head over to account and you're gonna have to unlink this PC, okay? You're gonna have to do that in order to fix the folder being updated again by OneDrive and then bringing back your old files into this folder, which will give you the issue again. Once you do that, once you change the name to Rocket League Old, you go head over, you go head back to the game, you go head back to the launcher, and then try to run Rocket League again. And you really shouldn't have any issues this time. If you try to play Rocket League, it should close your launcher and it should launch your game as usual, as, is, as it always done it. I got this issue after I updated to Windows 11. I don't know if you guys had a similar problem where you reinstall the game after a long time or you update a Windows or whatever reason, and then you couldn't launch your game. And it doesn't only happen with Rocket League, it's also happening with a bunch of Epic Games games. So I hope this was able to help you guys. I hope you guys were able to fix this issue and you're now able to play Rocket League. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.